Hello, welcome back. It's this is the Suraj Power Speaking. Once again, I just came with my different dashboard over there based on the data set. So now I just came with like there is a Netflix data set which is represent. So first of all, in this in this cloud in this box like model part. So we have in model part we have to just establish the relation between like there are if many tables over there. So like ER model we have to just say like this. So we have to just make like different relation between that particular things were represent over there. Like these are the entities and based on the entities having the different columns which is represent. And the thing over that now, yes. And after that, if you want to see that particular what the data actually which is concerns on that particular table. So here we have to just go with that particular data set. So here the like uh, in that particular Netflix data set. So like there is a first column name is like show ID, then the type, the type of show is represent, then the title, then there is a director, then the cast, and then the country, then there is a having the date added, then release date, then rating, then duration, and then listed in, then description, all these things which is based on that particular table which is consist of that particular columns which is represent over there. After that, if you want to visualize our data, so where we have to just see that visualization part, go to the having the report part. So in when we click the report, so automatically we have to just see that how we make that particular data set, the visualization of that particular data set. So here is like the movies and the TV shows title report we have just represent. So here it is like released here. So based on the release year, like it start from the 1925 to 2020, because I just there is a having past year data over represent over there. So if the user want like to fluctuate that particular, for example, I just want to set like a 1945 to 2020. So automatically the data which is having like uh, it should be upgraded with respect to that selected per data set over there. Okay, so that things which is represent like this, if you want to select in like uh, 1971, so automatically like 6190, the total quantity which is represent and approximately hold the things which is having the changes based on that particular years, like from 1971 to 2020. From that only we just want the data of that particular year between that particular for the Netflix data. So after that we have the second is like the chart which is represent the total quantity by that particular country. So country like the having in x-axis there is a country in y-axis they are having total quantity represent. So after that the United States having like having 2003 uh, like total quantity which is having based on that particular country which is represent over there. So here we have like tooltip we have just put it over there we can see that like in this in india like uh, 772 which is represent and the country india which is total quantity which is represent after that like a uh, total quantity based on the type means type like there is a movie or like based on the tv show represent so mostly the people watches like tv shows like having the 2k only which is based on that like 31.73 percent only but mostly the uh, movies the people <laughs> mostly they watch so that's why the percent is very, very high like 68.27 percent so we can see easily how the data which is based uh, means the, while using like a donut chart the data type of that particular which is distribution after that if you want to see that the total quantity based on that particular rating we have just based on that particular like rating based on the total quantities so here we have like uh, tv I mean, so it's like, like different tv shows and movies and all those things we have just provide the rating so like 2 2k the rating is very high like uh, total number of quantities 2025 and very low is like uh, it's something like pg is a rating and the total quantity is 184 so after that we have just uh, moved over the next uh, chart over representation. So here is like total quantity based on that particular released year. So like we are as I already said that if we have chosen like 
from 1971 to 2020 so here is like year come is like 1970 to 2020 so uh, can we easily guess that in uh, means in 1068 and the release year is like 2018 so in that 2018 the maximum pictures like movies and tv shows which is type of this things which is having released more in that particular year like 2018 so and very minimum so we have to just see like this here is like the data which is represent like in many minimum which we have just find it like that so yeah here is my dashboards which is represent by of this uh, movies and the tv show title report uh, reports yeah thank you so much